So another topic near and dear to your heart is uh, uh, antivirals and hepatitis C, because I, I, I don't know if you know this, but some people call you the voice of Gilead. The voice uh, of Gilead. The voice of Gilead. Okay. But, so, so talk Not sure to how, us, how the CEO would feel about that. Right. But okay. so, talk, so talk to us about what's going to be happening in, uh, you know, at the end of the month um, in Boston and sure. uh, what kind of things that you're looking forward to see from okay. some of these companies. Sure. So, yeah, hepatitis C, it's a liver, it's a liver infection. Um, it, it's, it's one of the big development areas for, for biotech companies and pharmaceutical companies over the last several years. And it's been an exciting area to develop drugs in be, because the market's already fairly developed, but, but the current standard of c care in this market is insufficient. So currently, you can only get rid of the virus uh, or, cure, or cure patients in a, a, about 40% of the time. So there's clearly a lot of um, space between 40% and 100% for a company to develop new medications for. Um, and in addition, the current therapies today are, are difficult to take. They're injectables, and, and they're little. And they're little. Um, they're not. They're not dangerous, but they don't make people feel good. So there's a lot of areas for improvement in this, in, in this area. And, and to that end, the, probably the leader in that area has been Vertex. They were the first um, to show phase three data uh, in this area, and it was really dramatic what happened this summer. They took cure rates up from 40 percent, roughly, up to roughly 75 uh, percent. So almost a doubling of cure rates in this disease. So, so, so it's 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 it's, it's I think undis indisputably this. Is a major, major medical breakthrough. Now, Vertex stock didn't move very much this summer because most of us expected data like that. So this was in line with expectations. So we all understand that Vertex works and that the Vertex drug is likely to be approved. Merck has also had data for their drug, which is similar to the Vertex drug, um, that, that also looks positive, and that drug looks approval. So when we go to this big liver conference, this big liver meeting uh, in early November, um, what, we're, what I'm going to be looking mostly for is not so much looking at the Vertex data and the Merck data, although I will be looking at that for more details, but because those, those the, the, the story has, has largely been told, we understand their profile, what we're really going to be looking at, what about all the other drugs in development? What about, what about the half a dozen programs that are one, two, three years behind Vertex? And these are programs like Bristol Myers uh, has a very interesting program in development, which some early data came out today. So I'm, I'm very interested to know what Bristol does. Gilead, actually, to to, the, the, uh, to, to bring up the company that you mentioned, um, is known as an HIV company, and they've really not known as a hepatitis C company. But turns out they're they're going to have some very important data in hepatitis C at this meeting. So this is going to be perhaps a coming out party for Gilead. So I'm very interested to understand the details. Uh, of the Gilead data when, when we see that, because that could add a, a, a much needed um, um, uh, leg to the Gilead to the Gilead story to, to stoke investor interest. And I'm also I'm also interested in Johnson and Johnson. Johnson Johnson has a drug that looks very interesting, and that one's particularly. Um, uh, um, noteworthy to me because J and J is also partnered with Vertex on Vertex's drug. So what if J and J has its own fully owned drug that looks good? What does that exactly mean for Vertex? So I'm. Less interested in, 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 in the two companies in pole position. I'm more interested in, 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 in some, of the, some of the sprinters that are in, in third and fourth and fi in fifth place right now and seeing if they can eventually, uh, um, eventually take, o take over. Okay.